Hi, I'm Amy Jones Timoney from the University of Kentucky, and I'm here with Mark Cornblue, who is the Dean of the College of Arts and Sciences. Thank you so much for being with us today. Oh, my pleasure. You know, we're walking on kind of the main part of campus today because your college covers a lot of ground. Um, why does your college touch the lives of so many of our students? Well, we're really central to every aspect of the university. The university was born around arts and sciences. Uh, we offer the most majors, most minors. Every student, every undergraduate student takes significant number of classes in the College of Arts and Sciences. Uh, our mission is uh, really identical to the university, which is to advance knowledge, world-class research, to teach a new generation of students, and to impact Lexington, the Commonwealth, and the world beyond. So teaching, research, and service. You know, a lot of people talk about the importance of interdisciplinary, multidisciplinary work on a college campus. Um, what kinds of partnerships do you all have with other colleges within the university to kind of enhance the student experience? Um, so we work with other colleges in a uh, hundred different ways. We have majors that we share with other colleges, so we offer uh, probably one of our most advanced science major is neuroscience, and it's housed in our biology department, but um, our psychology faculty work with it, and it's the College of Medicine and College of Pharmacy are central to it. Um, we do, uh, we host African American and Africana studies for the whole university. Um, we, we have a big partnership with the College of Business. One of our newest majors is U.S. Culture and American Business Practices. Um, so we have really great relations with other colleges. So we made our way over to the Chem Phys building, um, which is an important place for all the students here at EK, especially your arts and science students. Um, tell me a little bit about the opportunities that your students have here at UK. So we're really committed to having students have what we call high impact learning experiences. So for example, for our science students, we're really eager for them to have opportunities to be involved in research in laboratories. Um, it's to our advantage to have a medical school on this campus, for example, because we have so many biology and chemistry majors working in different labs in the medical school as well as with our own uh, and our own faculty labs. Um, we also look for opportunities for students to get internships. We have oh, a wide range of internships programs. Probably the most exciting new program is we have UK and DC program now where we're sending, our goal is to send 25 students a semester, three semesters a year. And we're partnering with the president's office on doing that and working with our congressional delegation. Um, we also do uh, are really committed to study abroad. We send the most students abroad of any college here. Um, we send students to 50 odd un uh, countries in any given year um, on a lot of different experiences. Um, one that excites me the most is we have a program that we run through the College of Arts and Sciences where students do internships in Cape Town, South Africa. So it combines internships and study abroad. They work with some of the most neediest communities in Cape Town, work closely with children of poor families or uh, sometimes in a battered women's shelter. Um, it's a really great opportunity. The world is closer, it's a one small place in a way it never was before and it's been never more important for our students to understand the great diversity in the world, different cultures, different places, to be comfortable to work in the world. They can major in 11 different languages, so we want students to be able to learn the languages to talk to people as well, and to learn about the culture, the history, religion. Um, in science today, science today is totally international. Our faculty collaborate with scientists all over the world, and we have opportunities for for graduate as well as undergraduate students to work in labs overseas and to see, uh, you know, science is one world today. We've made our way to the Don and Kathy Jacobs Science Building, which I know is a building that you're very proud of. 
Absolutely. We wanted a building that was designed around active learning. So the building is designed, every laboratory, every classroom is designed so that students can uh, be engaged actively in their learning. Uh, the lecture halls have two rows of seats on each riser so the students can uh, participate. There's no uh, hour-long talking in there. All the small classrooms are arranged for students to be engaged. Um, we wanted a place where, stu where science students, this would be their home. And as we go inside, you see that there's so much space here designed for students to hang out. They like to study collaboratively today. They like to be part of a public space. We wanted to make science visible. You can see through all the labs. You can see what's going on. The building sort of mirrors from uh, lower levels of science on up to upper so that the first year students can see where they're going to go. Um, the students love this building. It's two years old. You look at it now, it looks like we opened it yesterday because they take such good care of it. On parents' weekend, the, I've never seen students, hey, mom, dad, come see my science building, but it happens every <laughs> weekend. It's just amazing. So, I mean, I would imagine this is, this is something great for prospective students to see. Um, yeah. Why are students choosing the UK College of Arts and Sciences, and, and what are they like? Um, we have amongst the most diverse student body in the country, so we have the most African-American and Latinx students. Um, we offer the disciplines that are at the root of all professions, so the humanities, the social sciences, the natural sciences. Um, this is a world-class building. There is no better place to do science teaching in the country than in this building. So the mission of our flagship university is to link research with teaching. So our faculty are world-class researchers. Um, the faculty who teach in this building are do, engaged in new breakthroughs in regenerative biology, um, in developing new materials for batteries that'll change how we work with electricity, um, for uh, looking at uh, physics in a way that will um, transform, get us off of fossil fuels, um, just really exciting stuff. Um, in the humanities and social sciences, we have some of the world's best known faculty member. Our English department has two Guggenheim Award winners. I don't think any other English department in the country has. The physics department has the most members of the American Physics Society, which is what you're elected to if you're a real amazing researcher as any, uh, of any department in the country. So from the humanities through to the sciences, we have faculty that are you know, doing cutting edge research. And that's what, let me go back to students, that's what makes it so exciting to be a student here because you're taking classes with people who are breaking the frontiers of knowledge. Um, and so you're part of that. And to go back to what we talked to before, the students get to work in those laboratories. They get to go overseas with the faculty member doing surveys. They, whether social science, humanities, or natural sciences, that our undergrads are engaged in that world-class research. So, last question. Okay. Um, what, what is your favorite part about leading the College of Arts and Sciences at UK? Uh, I'm just so proud to be, seen, to be the faculty leader of, the, of this amazing faculty and these wonderful students. It's an honor beyond any I ever expected in my career to be dean of this faculty, and I just love it. Thank you.